Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Storm vs Tony can be played two ways, as with many matchups. The first way is to play aggressively and spend a good deal of your laning landing those right clicks. Tony has very little armor, so despite a huge health pool, goes down fairly easily. The second method is to simply push Tony in and focus on your farming. Tony doesn't gain good wave clear until way after the laning phase and simply will not be able to keep up with Storm's farm. In this match particularly, I will mostly focus on my farming, but will still harass Tony if I see an advantage for it. But otherwise, I will skip Vortex, keep the waves bouncing, and incorporate jungle stacks into my farm. The laning principle is simple. There are two things to keep in mind. First, Tony has insanely high right click damage, so you will have to use Remnant to secure those stats hits if Tony is allowed to roam freely around the middle. Second, from level 2 he can possibly skill toss, so you'll have to be careful in the waves near his high ground, and from level 3 he gets his own vortex combo with the avalanche toss. Again, keeping the waves bouncing between towers will solve most of your potential problems. Until level 6 the matchup doesn't get any more complicated, just maintain the same practices you did so far. After level 6, Storm gets a power spike in the form of his ultimate, while Tony's playstyle remains the same. Now Storm can simply dance in and out of the cube wave, further reducing his time spent in the lane, thus reducing the risk of eating Tony's combo. Now the mid lane ends when either Storm completes Orchid, or when Tony grabs a blink. Naturally, blink will almost always come first, so if Storm still wants to hover around the mid lane, buying threats and keeping that one strength, raindrops and possibly a wand should be sufficient enough not to get comboed down. What I did in this match is instead of itemizing against a combo, I made sure to simply keep track of Tony's location and play around it until my orchid. Afterwards, the game plan doesn't change much either. Tony engaging first, especially if he has a team behind him, can still very much mean death for you, so always be mindful of his location and either jump him first with the orchid or let him jump someone else first then re-engage. Tony, outside of his combo, remains very weak throughout the mid-game. And this concludes today's topic. Leaving you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Radiance bottom tower is under attack.
you later, nerds. Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Bottom Tower is under attack. Radiance Bottom Tower has fallen. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Radiant's middle barracks are under
Let us skirmish! Under attack. Told you a storm was coming. Reach. 
Is under attack. Die. 